Hello. Um, right, this is the first of um, a, the tutorials I'm going to give. Um, I'm going to make these as quick as possible. Um, right, okay, so um, the this is when you initially first open an image before you start um, getting into the nitty gritty. So you've probably seen this before if you've seen the videos but um, let's have another quick look so this is the tool tools I will be using um, I do recommend using a graphics tablet it's just nigh on impossible with a, um, a mouse um, as you'll see so um, the process I'm going to show you we're going to be doing on this um, is a little crop from um, Europa um, no it says very high resolution 367.8 kilobytes so uh, uh, there you go it probably is originally obviously but um, this is why we're doing the tutorials um, okay so pause it have a read interesting stuff this planet is this moon rather is um incredible right so i'm presuming that you have got um gimp loaded up and you sorted out your interface don't worry about anything we're only um using this this tool here here's the setup if you're worried about um setup you just copy this um seems to work <laughs> um right apologies for the um all the time it's quite difficult this uh right okay um okay this is the image um with nothing done from it this is how it comes in from the um from the download so here we go look that's how um not high res the image is obviously now what i used to do was um i used to just work in small areas and do everything all the darkening all the or initially start with um uh brightness and uh contrast you can do things like that um but what i found or what i've realized with this is um works on the whole image um and it's it's it, it's white or black basically it's um it's not very specific to an area which which will this will make sense um as we go right another another quick thing i want to show you um if you're not happy with something that you've done you can edit undo up here so on and so forth or you can go to here which is uh, actions and it will show you every little process that you do and you can just move back on it like that so there's there's a couple of ways of um, of uh, doing it okay here we go here's the tool here's your your settings this is all, all you're going to be moving around and using using this. So anyway, I've got the exposure quite high. I'm going to make the brush ooh, not that big. That big, for example. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it on highlights and stick it on burn. And this is making the light areas darker quite simple it more or less leaves the mid and dark tones alone okay so once you've done that and like i say if you're not happy or you you or you've made a, a mistake um you can just go back so one thing i want to point out as well oh now if that happens you have to click on that that little one 
Oh, don't. Oh, never done that before. There you go. Right now, it when you when you're pressing with the with the um, the stylus, the um, graphics pen. Um, I'll just demonstrate. Okay, so the next the next one I'm going to do on this would be mid tones burn. It's the same. It's the same levels, but you can experiment with the levels and stuff. Now, if I run through and I release the pen and I run down here again, you see how it's left a line down the middle. It just means every time you release, or it's like releasing the button on a mouse, it will go over that area again with the the exposure setting up. So I can keep going, and it will, yeah. Okay, so we can go into there. And there. This is very very useful. Okay, right, so we're on burn, mid-tones. And this will save you hours, guaranteed. Absolutely guaranteed. And what you'll notice, how the image is becoming more and more defined. That's quite cool. So, But I'm going to go in again. And the reason I'm doing that is because I, when I first start these images, I use the um, dodge and highlights setting. So the darker it is, the more clarity you get. And but I'll explain that now. So we're ju we're just going to do this today. I'm not even going to enlarge it. So as you can see. Is completely different. Um, okay, right. I'm trying to remember um, what I was going to show you, and um, okay, right. So there you have it. It's that simple, and that will save you hours and hours and hours of work. Um, I will quickly show you. Um, this was a completely random image that from the photo journal, journal site, um, but it looked quite it looked quite nice, and I know what I'm looking for, and I can see stuff straight away. But you see, it's like, oh, what, what's going? That's terrible. I can't. Yeah, but even even here, there's something unusual here it's to me it's alive so quickly I'm going to show you oh this is an image I've been working on um, so what I can do I'm not going to get too carried away you see how the brush is not is because it's a lot larger I think it's about two gig or so 1.7 but we can get in there now now you'll notice because of the the low quality even though I've blown this right up it, you're you're going to get this sort of blocky type look but when you start doing the work on it these tools will re sort of define them it, 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 it's like working in a blurred area which is another tutorial I'll do to show you how you can take out blurring so is there anything in here I can show you immediately um, maybe this isn't the image I think I've just been doing big paths. let's see if I can spot something and do this this area here just check this area running through here and then down it's like oh, that's a that's quite familiar 
looking shapes and stuff. So I'll do a I'll do a proper one on this. In fact, I've got a very big image. Oh, that's burned. You see, don't want that. That's okay. Highlights, dodge, and I normally work around the seventy percent mark of sorts. Now every image will react differently to the tools you use, so you've just got to experiment with them. And remember, you've got the the option to just undo everything, so it doesn't matter. Just give it a blast. this it will go oh that's 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 pixelated but unfortunately the quality of the image is terrible I'm gonna finish this in a minute I promise got to keep the time on these down especially on these ones But now if we have a little look back, you see the structural type sort of stuff starting to form. This is all the picture's giving me. Always look in the dark areas. Because that's where you find lots of hidden bits. So there we go. And what I would do on that, just to give you a, 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 a jump start <clears throat> after this first initial, I'll explain it in those ones. I will go to burn, or what I might actually do is burn the highlights, and, it, and you're thinking, oh no, well, you've just gone over those. And you see, the, this is why you do the other stuff before you enlarge anything. Now what I would do, I'll go back to the dodge. Quicker. And then when I've done that, oh, look at that. See? It's all there. Even very, very low quality. You'll just get used to and finally I will burn mid-tones probably bring that down a little you see how this is my computer it's just not powerful enough see how it's trying to catch up Ooh. yeah doesn't like it not responding this is normal for me um, and then you then I'll go back in with the highlights and stuff again. But hey, there we go. I hope that's given a, you a bit of a head start. Um, and excellent. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you if you haven't. Um, and do share this. Get it out there. Um, not so much with the t tutorials, but uh, with the other videos. Um, uh, because, well, there's, no, there's not a lot of argument with this, really. Um, excellent. Okay, see you next time.